Well, Pope Benedict XVI surprised the world when he became the first pope in nearly 600 years to step down. Tomorrow, 115 cardinals begin the sanctified and secret process of electing the next pope. My co-anchor Terry Moran reports tonight from Rome with the latest from the papal conclave. Terry? Cynthia, just a few hours from now, amid a lot of pageantry and a lot of prayer, just behind me there, it begins. The cardinals of the Catholic Church will march in solemn procession into the Sistine Chapel and start voting to pick the next pope. And the eyes of 1.2 billion Catholics around the world will turn here to Rome, waiting, looking for that white smoke to billow out of the chimney back there, the white smoke that signals a new pope has been chosen. Well, tonight, the cool spring air in Rome is thick with suspense, tinged with a little bit of intrigue, and for so many millions, charged with hope. Just imagine, this is the long walk the 115 cardinal electors will take Tuesday afternoon down the splendid corridors of the Vatican and into one of the grandest spaces in all the world, the Sistine Chapel. Here, they will vote. The books of procedural rules and prayers in Latin are all in place. The twin stoves await, one to burn the ballots, the other to burn chemicals to make sure the smoke comes out the right color. Black for an inconclusive vote, white for a new pope. And tonight, another final preparation. Così Dio mi aiuti. The Vatican staff, religious officials, two medical doctors for possible emergencies, cooks, housekeepers, florists, 90 people all told, take a solemn oath of absolute and perpetual secrecy. As for the cardinals themselves, many have been out and about in Rome these frantic final days, including Cardinal Timothy Dolan of New York, who said mass at a local church and who many think has a shot at being the first American pope. I told him, I said, you just like me coming because I preach shorter than your pastor does. So. Whoever is chosen, his white papal garments already await, small, medium, and large, depending, and they are already hanging in the room of tears, where the man who will be elected to lead the church will come first to change, to pray, and perhaps, tradition says, to weep. So, who will it be? There is no favorite, no front runner here, and Rome is just feverish with speculation. It's the hope, the belief of Catholics, that the Holy Spirit guides this process, but it is men who make the choice, and they will take their first vote Tuesday afternoon. The prayers of millions are already with them, and the whole world waits.